I hope it's not gonna be all yellow over here. Anyway. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, guys. It's Alex here. Welcome back to another video where I'll be talking about one of the very important topics. And this is why non-European citizen cannot get any job opportunities here in Malta. Okay, so today I woke up in a very good mood. I had a really good day and I came up with an idea. It's time for me to do a video. When I'm in a good mood, I feel like the videos are turning out extremely well. Okay, so ever since I started doing these videos about Malta, I started receiving a lot of messages. But when I say a lot, I mean like hundreds of messages per day. And I'm so happy that I can interact, that I can engage with many people. And there is something that I wanted to say, but I wanted to make a dedicated video about this. And this is why am I doing these videos? A video about this topic will come out very soon. Anyway, let's start. As I mentioned, I've been receiving quite a lot of messages from you guys and especially from people who are not from the European Union. Many of the questions are related to the work visa. The many questions are also, Alex, I am applying for any job opportunity, but unfortunately I'm not getting any response. I've been telling you to send me your CVs so that I can go through them and send them to potential employers. And I was coming up with many things, but one major thing that I've noticed in 70% of your CV is that you guys do not have a three years of experience in the job role that you're applying for. And this is one of the main reasons why you're not getting a job opportunity here in Malta. And let me start by telling you this. When you're applying for a work opportunity here in Malta, you need to understand that as a non-European Union citizen, you are considered here as a third national country and you are third in line. Now, what does this mean? This means that when there is a job opportunity, first in line are Maltese citizen, second in line are European Union citizen, and third in line are non-European citizen. And now here it comes the fun part. And this is how they are doing the selection for the potential candidates for these job opportunities. It doesn't really matter if you are applying for a lowest paid job opportunity or if you're applying for a high paid opportunity. You have to have a three no, this is six. You have to have three years of experience in the job role that you're applying for. Okay, I think I should be giving you an example. Let's say like this. You are looking for a job online and you're seeing that there is a job opportunity in the field that you wish to work for. And maybe the field that you already have some kind of experience in. And let's start from here. This job opportunity will be available for everyone, European Union and non-European Union citizen. If there are 10 candidates who are Maltese, or any other European country, but they do not have any qualification or any work experience for over three years, your employer will more likely consider your CV. And when they will be applying for the work visa and they will be asked for the authorities why you are choosing this candidate, they have the valid reason to say because this candidate has over three years of experience in the job role. The only thing that people will be checking through the CV and through the Zoom meeting or regardless of how they're gonna make the meeting is your physical appearance, your level of English. I think I have mentioned this already. So whoever is watching this YouTube video, please, 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 before even, how many times did I say please, please, please? <laughs> before even you're starting to apply for any job opportunity, please guys, improve your English. If someone is not working at this moment and it's so eagerly trying to move to Malta, you have time. By the time you're applying for a job, please improve your level of English. With this being said, I hope you enjoyed this video and you got some answers. If you did, please don't forget to like the video down below and click the subscribe button. Many more videos are coming on these topics about living in Malta and I hope you're gonna enjoy them. And until I see you in my next one, bye.